by uh, Mr. Surana, the CMD of the company. Hi, Mr. Surana. Thanks so much, sir, for joining in. Uh, I was just looking at it, and regional GRMs, they are trading at eight-month highs. Uh, they have really shot up in the last month or so. Uh, Post-quarter one, you expected that quarter two GRMs will actually be a tad bit weakish. Uh, but post this surge, would uh, your outlook change with regard uh, to the quarter two uh, GRMs? So what I mentioned after quarter one was that normally quarter two is subdued compared to quarter one and that we have seen in July month where the, uh, the cracks were substantially down. In September month, it has picked it up and right now the cracks are in the range of around $12 for gasoline and around $11 for HSD. So that's quite a, that's a good build up. And so if we see average of quarter two, it is likely to be lesser than quarter one. Now, normally what happens is after the end of the uh, shutdown season and as the end of the, uh, the winter season when it uh, starts it, again the demand picks up. While after quarter one, the driving season ends and the demands are lower and so the GRMs becomes lower. So that goes in that pattern. Now the current pickup in September is slightly steeper than what uh, from the July end. Had it gone slowly, gradually, quarter two would have been much lower than quarter one, but a September pickup is good overall. Okay, so sir, what you're trying to say is that Q2 GRMs will be better than Q1? Overall average uh, GRM, I don't expect to be more than June quarter. September quarter uh, GRMs are, September month GRMs are better, but average overall quarter wise, I don't expect to be better than Q1. Well, uh, sir, could you tell us uh, what's your outlook, Larry, on crude? It's been moving up uh, gradually and it's uh, close to its two month highs. There has been recent uh, decisions by the OPEC to maintain the crude uh, production in the range of 32.3 to 33. There is an expectation that probably there may be a cut of around 700,000 barrels a day production. Based on that uh, input, there is some pickup in the crude prices, but still the crude prices are hovering in the range of 50. A lot of analysts believe that uh, actually this decision is subject to the, uh, the finality in the month of November. And even if after taken, then the implementation of that, how quickly it happens. Based on that, many analysts are still predicting that in the next six months, the prices may hover in this range. Okay. Uh, so how is the demand scenario shaping up right now? If you see India, the growth in the fuel market, let's say petrol was in the range of 11 to 12%. For the April to August months, similarly for HSD, it was around 3 to 3.5, 3.2% or so. LPG was in the range of 11 to 12%. So the normal demand in India for petroleum products is likely to be double digit overall. Well, Mr. Surana, I think as you speak, uh, the street likes what, you what the commentary that you're giving us because the stock has spiked up as well. It's recovered uh, from the low point of the day. But uh, give us an update as well on your uh, refinery output. The refinery throughput is more than we have planned for, but we had a planned shutdown uh, in the units which we have budgeted for. As far as market sales are concerned, we are maintaining our uh, market sales. Uh, we had a, in, uh, by April to August, if we see, we had a growth of around 11.7% in MS, around 3.2% 3, 3 in HSD, around 10.5% in LPG. Any inventory gains we can expect in the coming quarter? See, the September month's crude prices are better than August. So, there is a likelihood of inventory gains. All right. Uh, thanks so much, uh, Mrs. Surana, for joining in and uh, giving us.